August the 29th, St. John the Baptist. On the Nichon, on 20th and Dach, that's month is, with Sanctus Johannes Rowing, that's Niklan Fulwichteris. Donny het Herodes Behevdian, for don de he him loch, that he have de his brother with him to Chifese. On that Hereford het bear an on dishe, on selen an re sialtichan, he re play on to mede. That was his Chifese doctor, on seo morda he that ar yelarde. For one world they say al michte, michte God, that Sanctus Johannes say was eor a man as a master, on se halgoste to Christi selfum, on he was hevde bekorven, for shand fulra wifa bene, on for young liches maiden is playing, on shand fulis ye biorshupes hlachtre. On for drunkness, cooning is wordum. But on efne for thon god hini for letting this nuthelicran worlde swa for slain lichne, on swa or worth lichne deathrowian. That he hini walde in their hien worlde, ye lade to them worldre, the animon ne my monum are. Can. For them Herodes had bearen that here for on them dishe, for them there was cuninger doctor theo, don he pleodon mid guldenum aplum on self renum dishe. August the twenty ninth, Saint John the Baptist. On the twenty ninth day of the month is the martyrdom of Saint John. The noble christener. Herod ordered him to be beheaded because he had reproached him for keeping his brother's wife as a concubine and the head to be brought on a dish and given to a dancer as a reward for her dance. That was the daughter of his concubine and the mother had taught her that before. Why did the Almighty God wish that St. John, who was the greatest and holiest of all men after Christ himself, should have his head cut off at the instance of vile women, and for a young girl's dance, and the pleasure of a shameful company, and the command of a drunken king, except for this reason, that God allowed him to suffer in this lower world such an ignominious and disgraceful death? that he wanted to lead him in the upper world to that glory which nobody can explain to mankind. Herod ordered the head to be brought on the dish because it was the custom of the king's daughters that they played with golden apples on a silver dish. <laughs>